What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna be showing you guys Nike Dunk Low, Halloween 2022. Shout out to today's sponsor, Soul Premise. As you guys see, I have my Soul Premise bag right here in front of me. Now you can fit up to five pair of shoes in this bag. I personally use it for an everyday bag, but this is a TSA approved bag. So when I do go on vacation, I do use this bag and I get on there with no problems. As you guys see in this video, I'm walking on the plane with it. Also, when you guys do get this bag on the middle pocket, which I'll show you guys right here, you can actually put your laptop in, all right? And it does have a Velcro strap, so it will stay strapped in. And I actually open up the first pocket and show you guys the shoes inside of there. I do have the neck face, shoes, foam runners. Show you guys the last pocket in the front. All right, I got some 450s in here and I got some other SB Dunks I will be reviewing real soon. Just want to fill up the bag so I can show you guys all the shoes that it can fit. On the bottom pocket, I also have the Air Jordan 1 Lows, UNC. Now they do also have merch, which you guys can purchase as well. All right, and they have some pretty nice merch. I'll show you right here. In the shirt, I did go to size medium and the shorts are a size small. Now, if you want more of a five inch inseam look, you can roll them up just once to have that effect. Now, if you guys are interested in any of these items I just showed you guys, you guys can get these for 40% off. Yes, that's right, 40% off by using my code YDavis. And let's get right back into the video. All right, guys, now we do get a regular box right here. As you guys see, red and white box. It says Nike, swoosh under it. All right, I did go to size nine on these. Retail on this was 120. Current resale is going for about the same price. You can definitely probably find these under retail within the next week or so. Um, and these are available everywhere. You can find them at Foot Locker, all your boutiques. Um, these aren't going anywhere because when there isn't any resale, the shoes do sit. Top of the box right here, as you guys see, um, we do get a stamp on the inside of the box right there. Get some regular tissue paper. Take out these beautiful shoes. All right, I did wind up getting mine from the Hush Life Boutique in Inglewood, New Jersey. All right, but um, pretty nice shoes. Now, the one thing that I did not like about this shoe right off the rip is that they do not glow in the dark. And you might be saying, what? When you look at this sole, you may think that it is a glow in the dark sole, but this shoe does not glow in the dark. We do get some uh, recycled material down there. That's why you see all those little particles mixed up down there. So I'll show you guys the bottom of the sole right here. It is green in the middle. We get the Nike with the swoosh in it. All right, so I am pretty disappointed about that once again. On the midsole of the shoe here, it's in a white midsole with the stitching in white on the outside and on the inside of the shoe. Coming up towards the base of the shoe here, we get this gray leather all the way around the shoe. Now, if you guys look at the middle panel right here, we get some regular gray leather. And then we, on top of that, we get this swoosh, which is in like a cracked leather. And you can really feel the materials on there and the texture. Behind that, we get a lighter gray swoosh. I'm gonna show you guys a close up right here. I do have a little bit of glue stains on the back half right there. But other than that, I don't see anything else on the shoe that's really catching my eye. Just a few glue spots here and there. Same thing on the inside here, but on the inside of the shoes, we don't get the double swoosh on the background. We just get the regular swoosh right there and like that cracked leather, as you guys can see and feel on it. Also up by the ankles is in that regular leather as well. Now coming back towards the outside of the shoe right here, if you guys look at that swoosh that's light gray in the background, that is actually 3M. So I'm gonna show you guys this clip right here. Pretty fire in my opinion. I do like the way these do hit with the 3M on it. I wish these would have been glow in the dark, but you know, we can't have the best of both worlds for this shoe. Now if you guys look on the back of the shoes right here, a little bit of 3M back there as well. And that says Nike right there where it is 3M. And you guys see a little rainbow. So um, they did put some good touches on this shoe, but I wish they would have made the shoe glow in the dark. I think that would have been, you know, a really good look for this shoe, but you know, they skipped out on that this year. Coming towards the front of the toe box on this shoe, these will crease up pretty easily when I'm pushing down the material. I can see that, you know, these will crease up. Now it's not the worst leather, but it's not the best either. Okay, show you guys that real quick. Now, if you guys look on the mud guard right here, you get some white creeping up from the bottom with some white stitching, and then you see the green sole. Unfortunately, we do only get one pair of laces with these, and they come in the gray laces. If you guys look at the tongue on here, it comes in this gray mesh tongue. At the top, it says Nike with the swoosh under it in black, as you guys can see right there. On the inside of the tongue, it just tells us where the shoe is from and things like that. We actually do get some tissue inserts on these, all right, and on the actual sock lining of the shoe, it is gray as well. The production dates on this shoe was 4-12-22 to 06 06 22. Random thought here, but the box says PRM and that means premium, but the actual insole is green on the shoe. On the bottom it says Nike. We also get a sizing sticker on there. Under the actual insole, it is white. And then we see some orange stitching in there. If you guys are looking at your shoes with me, so they did follow the Halloween theme. 
But on the back of the actual insole, this is the cheap insoles and it is gray. So this is the one that comes with that glue on the back of the insole. So we don't get the best insoles on these, as you guys already know. But uh, on the back of the shoes right here, it says Nike, once again, in that 3M material. And then under that, it says Nike more clear, as you guys can see right there. Now I'm gonna show you guys my footers in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, normally get nine and a half in all my shoes. Set for 450s and 350s. I believe they go a full size up on those. I actually did go true to size on these. With most Nike Dunk lows, Air Jordan 1 lows, Air Force 1s, I like to go true to size because they tend to run big in my opinion. Actually on Air Force 1s, you can actually go down half a size because of how big they run. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box on these. So as you guys can see, wiggling around, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. So I do have a good amount of space, not a good amount of space actually, but I do have a little bit of space in there as you guys can see. Now, um. I will say that if you have a, a slightly wider foot or need a little bit more room in your shoes, you can go up half a size. I will show you guys that on the outside of the shoe right here, my foot is pretty flush. Like I don't have any room for error. So um, if you have a you know wider foot or you know just need a little bit more space in your shoes, you could go up half a size. I'll show you guys when I take my foot out of this. I do have a good amount of slippage on it though. So if you guys don't want to have that slippage, you know, remain true to size or just tighten this middle lace right here and it should do the trick on the slippage and you just readjust like as i did right there as you guys see now i don't have the slippage but i just have to readjust those other laces to make it look a little even but other than that it's pretty clean on feet and uh i'm gonna show you guys with these legs from different pants options right now okay guys hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boys some love and stay tuned